Ever wonder what the most dangerous thing swimming in the ocean is? Do you think you know the answer? Are sharks really as dangerous as the movies make them out to be? What about the shells we pick up off the beach? Are they dangerous? Stick around and you'll be able to find the answers to these questions and many more. We're about to go over the most dangerous animals in the ocean and what makes them so dangerous. The oceans are filled with over a million different species of animals, so it's no surprise that there are dangerous ones living among them. Some of the smallest animals, such as zooplankton, and the largest animal, the blue whale, calls the ocean home. Just as there is a diversity of species living in the ocean, so is their diversity in our list. We'll be talking about fish, reptiles, transparent animals, animals that hide really well, toxic animals, venomous animals, and some that fit in between. The smallest animal we'll look at is a couple of inches long, while the largest is over 20 feet long. Stonefish, which are found in the Indo-Pacific, are considered to be the most venomous fish. These days, less people are dying each year from stonefish, and you can thank the generations that come before you for this. Stonefish had become such a problem that a great anti-venom was created in the 1950s. So, while painful, the venom is not likely to be fatal these days. Stonefish don't attack. They're dangerous due to the fact that they are bottom dwellers and blend in with the rocks and the sand, and most people get injected with their venom by stepping on them. The blue-ringed octopus, which is found around Japan and Australia, is docile by nature and they generally hide from humans. With their small bodies of around 30 grams, they hold a venom that is 1,000 times more powerful than cyanide and enough to endanger the lives of 26 humans within minutes. Since they hide rather than attack, the fatality rate from them is low. When feeling defensive, they will put on what looks like a light show with their bright blue rings flashing. People oftentimes will be mesmerized by this and because the bite is not painful, not even realize they've been bitten until the venom has taken effect. The sea snake or coral reef snake can be found in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. There are around 50 different species of sea snakes and they belong to the cobra family. However, sea snake's venom is eight times more toxic than a cobra's and just over a milligram, or about three drops, can kill about eight people. Luckily, sea snakes, like the blue-ringed octopus, aren't aggressive and are most likely going to hide from you. In addition, they have small fangs and not a lot of venom, so the chances of being bitten are very slim. Tiger sharks are found throughout the world in tropical and temperate waters. Perhaps the variety of locations is one of the reasons they also have the widest selection of food sources amongst all sharks. In addition to being found out at sea, these sharks also tend to come into shallower waters such as harbors and canals. It is because of this that interactions with humans are so common. More often than not, tiger sharks hunt alone and at night, and this could be a blessing as the attacks on humans could be a lot higher. Most people don't realize the danger of the cone snail. One drop of venom from this 5-inch little creature is said to be able to take down 20 humans. At one time, during the 19th and 20th centuries, it was thought that the shell of the cone snail was one of the rarest in the world and had a significant value. Since then, their main habitat has been found and their value lessened, which has also lessened fatalities. However, they still remain a risk as many shell collectors pick them up when they see them on the beach without knowing if the snail is still alive inside. The modern day version of the great white shark has been around for millions of years. So, while they may have been popularized in the 1975 movie Jaws, these guys have been around for quite some time. The great white is definitely one of the most dangerous animals in the ocean. However, they kind of get a bad rap. They tend to bite on things to distinguish what they are. Sometimes humans just happen to be that thing. In most cases, with great white sharks, 
they will bite once and retreat. Unfortunately, sometimes that one bite is all it could take to kill you due to their immense size and teeth. If you were a fan of Steve Irwin the Crocodile Hunter, then chances are in 2006 you heard a lot about the Stingray. Stingrays can be found in all oceans, though tend to like the warmer climates best. Most are armed with one or more venomous spines in their tails that can have enough force to puncture boats. While their venom is extremely painful, chances are you'll be fine if you get stuck on one of your extremities. The real danger is due to their barbs penetrating essential organs in the trunk of your body. The estuarine crocodile, better known as the saltwater crocodile, are the largest crocodiles in the world, growing up to 23 feet long and weighing in at over 2,200 pounds. While 66 teeth might not sound like a lot, it'll feel like a lot if one of these reptiles gets a hold of you. It's no surprise that they kill at least two people a year. Specialists think the number is probably higher, but that the other deaths occur in remote communities where they aren't reported. The pufferfish, also known as the blowfish, is also known as the Japanese delicacy fugu. Our number two most dangerous animal in the ocean is unique for a couple of reasons. The fish themselves are not poisonous or venomous. They have a toxin called tetrodotoxin that mainly lives in their organs. This means that if you come into contact with the pufferfish in the ocean, you're pretty much guaranteed to be safe. The danger lies with the ingestion of the fish, if not prepared properly. Chefs in Japan have to have three years of training with the pufferfish before they are allowed to prepare it for guests. In any given year, there can be up to six deaths, or perhaps more that go unreported, associated with the pufferfish, all of which comes from eating it, and almost always comes from untrained people preparing it at home. Even with all the risks associated, this pricey delicacy is still a popular dish. Jellyfish, and more specifically, the box jellyfish may not look scary, but they can be very dangerous. The box jellyfish has more human victims than snakes, sharks, and saltwater crocodiles combined. It has enough venom to take the lives of 60 people in less than 5 minutes. Box jellyfish come with tentacles 10 feet long and transparent, so they're pretty much invisible and most people don't realize they've come in contact with them until it's too late. Specialists believe that the top 100 annual deaths might be underestimated due to unreported or misreported cases. So there you have it, some of the most dangerous animals in the ocean. Now don't let this list deter you from going into the ocean, no matter where you live. Remember, these are only 10 of over a million different species, with most of them being completely harmless. Even some of the animals on our list are completely harmless in most cases. In some cases, you can say that humans are the most dangerous animals in the ocean, killing up to 273 million sharks a year, not to mention the deaths of other oceanic animals caused by humans. In a lot of human fatalities from animals, it's the result of humans imposing on animals' habitat or outright provoking the animal. The ocean is a beautiful place, in addition to being a top sightseeing attraction with snorkeling and diving. Many of the animals contribute to our ecosystem and the consequences of them dying off may not be fully known until it's too late. Tell us your comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.